Hey guys, and welcome to another market update. Um, we are going to go quickly through Bitcoin, Ethereum, and at the end of the video, I will actually feature an alt which I believe is actually going to make some nice gains in the coming two or three years. So I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I've started a new series, which is Bitcoin Speedrun. Basically what this means that in 10 minutes we are going over Bitcoin, Ethereum, and maybe sometimes one alt. So without further ado, let's get to it. Um, Bitcoin is currently forming a bull flag. This is 100% a legit bull flag. Um, let me just quickly draw this out for you. Um, for your information, this is the logarithmic time scale. I've drawn resistance here. Um, as you can see, on the 4 hourly, this is clearly 100% legitly a bull flag. And this bull flag is so close that I believe we will breach the logarithmic resistance, which is really good news because this might actually spell the start of a new alt and Bitcoin run. Although this, of course, cannot yet be guaranteed. <clears throat> what would the target be for such a breakout? Now, that's very simple. We're just going to grab our Fibonacci. We're not going to make this overcomplicated. I'm not going to throw in Elliott waves and all that. Just a very simple Fibonacci. My target for breakouts would actually be 9600 USD. Um, and from there, I strongly expect a retest. So I do believe we will go down there. But if we, um, you know, stay calm, <laughs> if we stay calm, we don't have to dump all the way back to 5000 USD. Um, what is that going to look like? Um, it's probably just going to look like this big breakout because obviously everyone who didn't believe in the bull run yet will probably start doubting themselves at this moment um, the, and if we just measure this whole move then I would say a pullback to the 618 should be fair you know it's it's quite a large pullback but it shouldn't be anything too crazy Anything below 618 is a danger zone. I mean, if, if we breach the 618, we'll, which will then be sitting at 7800 USD, will be bad. You know, this could potentially be a sign of a reversal um, on the longer term. Now, if we go to the daily, we can see the RSI is not yet overbought. I do believe the RSI will go overbought sooner than later, but this is pure speculation from my side. Um, so of course this cannot be guaranteed now let's move over to ethereum and I, I can't stress enough i'm super excited i've been waiting for three months three months of eating ramen noodles and starving and now we can finally get back to steak so that's very very nice um, ethereum same story actually um, this is the log scale i think it might look better if i just take it off the log scale here so Ethereum had quite a dump um, in the past few months. Actually, it retraced a full 74%, which, um, you know, sucks <laughs> to say the least. Um, but again, Ethereum tends to do that because a lot of ICOs are done on Ethereum. And well, you know, these ICOs are gonna have to sell their ethereum sometimes and that is exactly the reason why you see such extreme volatility in ethereum i mean if, if you see these massive red candles here massive green candles everywhere and this has basically been happening ever since icos were invented on ethereum you can see that my buys at support between 34 345 usd and 400 usd are actually um, in a good profit right now we broke out of the linear scale resistance i'm not sure if this counts as a retest yet maybe if we look at the four hour things should become more clear um yeah this does count as a retest because obviously we broke out and touched the resistance again which has now become support by the way uh, we are about to break out here if you just pop this over the chart here and I'll just paint this red so we can see that this is resistance. Pop it over the chart. Maybe it should be a little bit higher, something like this. But, you know, 
to me this also seems like it is bound to break out any moment. So this really spells for a good week. I hope you have your alt bags packed. I know I do. I packed my alt bags two weeks ago. Um, you know, because I was just like, okay, so Bitcoin can, you know, go down another $2,000 or we can moon here. So I didn't really believe it was worth the wait, you know, for those couple extra percentages. We're going to go extend sometime soon anyway. So it doesn't really matter. And the reason I include Ethereum in these analysis is because this is an alt, obviously. And to me, this is the leading alt, which um, generally you know tells us how the market is feeling also if we pair ethereum against bitcoin and i'm just switching over to the bitrex exchange for that if we pair it against bitcoin we go to the daily and we take our log scale we can see something happening here um, i'm just going to draw support so we have our support going to remove these boxes for you mm, something like this yes that's better so we have our support and then if we draw resistance over it we can see a nice fractal um, last time ethereum broke out it gained 800 percent i do not believe that this will be the case again because obviously this would make ethereum larger than bitcoin um, it is certainly possible you know the hell do i know but um, i think it will be more modest this time so if we are going to complete this fractal and we break out i wouldn't really be hoping for anything more than a hundred percent and you know could obviously be wrong but i don't think i am that's why I was actually charting on the Ethereum pair against USD chart. Um, next, IOST. That's the alt I was talking about. Um, this greatly, greatly resembles EOS in its behavior. And we all know EOS was a great, great run made over, uh, over 10x, you know, so I'm super happy with that. Um, it appears to be forming some sort of cup and handle. If you don't know what a cup and handle is, it's a bullish pattern that usually comes prior to breakout. So here we have the cup and this should be our handle. Target after breakout should be around 710 Satoshis, but I wouldn't be too surprised if this in the long term goes to a thousand Satoshis because it's a really low market cap. It's there to compete with NEO, with Ethereum, um, you know, so plenty, plenty of room to, to grow. I'm, I'm keeping this in my long-term stash. If you're a swing trader, you might want to get in soon. Just get out at 700 Satoshis. And, you know, make some nice profit there. Next, I would like to uh, give a quick heads up. I do have a private group. Um, we have a free entry to that. So, obviously, uh, we have a paid section where, you know, people um, come to for a consultancy all that you know but we also have a free section we have the best memes in town there are no better memes than in our channel uh, we make some great calls and obviously you will get a daily bitcoin and ethereum analysis so feel free to join it is down below in the subscription um, also please subscribe you know leave a comment let me know what coin you would like me to cover in the next video and the one that you know gets requested most I will take this into consideration and cover it on the next um, YouTube video. So thanks for watching, um, really appreciate it. And you can find me on Twitter if you need me, at DayTradeJeffrey. So have a great day.